This method can help when performing point-of-care diagnostics of patients with signs of viral infections. The main advantage of this technique is that it can be performed without laboratory equipment and electricity, and hence it can be performed in a hospital ward. Demonstrating the blood collection procedure will be medical doctor Anders Fomskov and scientist Morten Rasmussen, both from my laboratory. Begin by preparing the blood collection tubes. Use a 25-gauge 1-inch needle attached to a 3-milliliter syringe to inject 1.6 milliliters of a commercial lysis buffer into a 4-milliliter EDTA vacuum tube. It is critical to maintain the vacuum in the blood collection tube for blood collection. Hence, always use a needle to inject the lysis buffer into the blood collection tube. Next, completely resuspend a 960 microliter volume of magnetic glass particles, or MGPs, and transfer to a labeled 1.8 milliliter tube. Next, pipette 4 milliliters of wash buffer 1 into a 4.5 milliliter tube labeled WB1, 1.5 milliliters of wash buffer 2 into a 3.6 milliliter tube labeled WB2, and 3 milliliters of wash buffer 3 into a 4.5 milliliter tube labeled WB3. Finally, add 100 microliters of elution buffer to a 1.8 milliliter tube labeled EB and leave the tubes at room temperature until use.